What's up everyone, hope you're doing fantastic today. My name is Tyson here with Repair My Funnel and today we're gonna to be diving into a Chrome browser extension called Save Image as Type. Now this is one that I've really enjoyed using when it comes to funnel hacking specifically, at least like trying to recreate pages or anything like that. It essentially allows you to go in and, and grab images off of a page, save it to your computer. Obviously there are some things that come with that. I'm not gonna tell you that you can use this to steal anything. Use this responsibly, do not steal anybody's IP. This is not something you wanna mess around with. I use this specifically for funnel hacking, meaning like going in and trying to recreate a page exactly. And then I'll go in and I'll change the assets, I'll change the copy, I'll change everything to better suit the brand or uh, business that I'm trying to create this funnel for, right? Uh, essentially, I, just, I, I want to create a mirror image. I, I enjoy that process. And so I use this to do that. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and jump over to my screen here. I'll show you what it is, how it works, and all that good stuff. So this is the page that you'll actually see in uh, the Chrome web store here, right? For the web or for the extension itself, all you have to do is add it to your browser. If I click on a little button here, in this case, I already have it added to my, my browser, so I can't download it again. But if I didn't already have it, I would just click over here and say add extension and that is it, or add to browser. I don't know what the actual word is, but just click on a button and that's it, that's all you have to do. Um, and it essentially allows you to grab images off the pages and save them as PNG, JPEG, or WebP files. Now, to show you this in action, let's go to a blog article that we have written here, um, where I have a couple of images. Now, basically, this is only gonna work for images that you can drag and drop. This is a telltale sign that you can grab the image. If you can go like this, move it around, right? That is an image on a page. It's not like a background image. If you wanted a background image, it's a different process and this extension would not work for you. Um, you'd have to go to through the HTML, find the actual image. Uh, we're not gonna cover that today. But for this, uh, all you have to do is go in and make sure that it's an actual image on a page, right? If you try to download it, uh, download image directly without uh, this extension, it's going to try to save it as a WebP file, meaning that you cannot use it over again. You can't like go in and add it to an image element into the ClickFunnels or go high level, wherever you're actually using this uh, or wherever you're trying to recreate things. Um, this is not going to allow you to do anything for that, like by default, right? So you can go over here and save image as, but it's gonna be a WebP file, which is annoying. <laughs> so this extension allows you to get around that by just right hand clicking on it from there. Instead of clicking on save image as, you're gonna click on save image as type. It's gonna show just like this as that uh, extension, right? Uh, and then just select the actual file type that you want. Now WebP is still an option, but you have the option to also use PNG or JPEG. Right, uh, so if I wanted, I'll go ahead and save this image. And I'm not stealing, this is my own image. Um, we'll go over here and we'll call this, I don't know, screenshots. I believe this was of, ah, yes, short link. Screenshots, tests. There we go. All right, save it. And now we have a new image file. If I click on it, it is there, it is active, and I can go in and use that whenever I need to. All right, um, and that's as simple as that. That's all this thing really does. It, it takes images off of a page. Again, I have to put a disclaimer out there. Do not go out there stealing people's IP for your own marketing stuff. It, you want to make sure that one, you have permission to do so, uh, or two, you at least give credit when credit is due. Likely both, all right, depending on what it is that you're trying to take. But if you're just doing it for educational type purposes or you're trying to recreate something and you don't plan on using it for anything, have fun, have a good time. This is definitely a useful tool to do so. And um, I personally, again, have found a lot of joy from using it. So there's that. And that is it when it comes to the save image as type Chrome extension. Have a great time. Seriously, go enjoy yourself. Do not do anything that you shouldn't do. Use it responsibly, all that good stuff, yada, yada, yada. But enjoy yourself. Um, if you have any questions around this tool at all or have other tools that you'd like me to create videos around, let me know down below. I'm happy to do so. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your week and we will talk to you later.